Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. Clarity that's coming. So what just came out is the hangman. So definitely the awake, wow, an awakening here. The temperance card. So a bunch of cards just fell out here. We have temperance, the hangman. Um, the Knight of Cups, the King of Pentacles, Page of Cups, the Fool, the Emperor, the Nine of Cups. So, whew, right away, um, there's for sure a, a masculine energy here who's going through an awakening. A masculine could be a feminine, could be a female or male. Um, sex doesn't matter. But also for some of you, you know, for the ladies that are watching, you could be getting more in touch with your masculine energy as well. But with the hangman being here in the temperance, this just tells me that there's a lot of balancing between the feminine and masculine, the dark and light, yin and yang. Many of you are realizing that you truly are chosen. You are divine. And it is time now for you to take a leap of faith to go towards your wish fulfillment. This does seem like a man, though. This seems like there is a man here who is awakening. This, for some of you um, feminists who are watching, you could have had to say sacrifice um a connection with someone because at the time that you met this person perhaps you just weren't in alignment with this individual um or they weren't in alignment with you take it however it resonates but with you with the temperance card being here it looks like there has been some delays here there's been an awakening that has happened and now the energies are more balanced you want someone um you're more aligned within yourself and so now you know there's an alignment that is happening with you and someone else the Knight of Cups with the King of Pentacles being here. This is someone that seems to be coming towards you with a more serious offer here. Okay. I'm hearing Peter Pan. Someone could have been in somewhat of a Peter Pan energy before. So maybe they didn't want to commit. Um, they weren't really being true to themselves and they weren't in a position to be true to you. This person may be coming in right now with a, an apology and an offer to take a leap of faith. Now, this could be someone from your past. If it is someone from your past, they may be offering an apology. That does not mean that you have to invest in this person and have any type of connection with them. This could simply just mean that someone is coming in and they could have a sincere apology for you after going through some type of awakening. You choosing to be committed to this person it's totally up to you. For some of you, this could be a brand new person um, or just someone that, you know, you never really had a serious relationship with. Now, it could have been a situation of divine timing. That energy is coming back to you now um, and it, it's new. It's improved. It's it's in alignment. OK, the chariot is here. This is saying that there is an opportunity to balance again the, the, the light and the dark. OK, there's a duality here. There's, an, you know, opposites here. Um, yeah. Oh. This is definitely a connection, you guys. You have the chariot here with the Hierophant and the High Priestess. So divine timing is at play for sure in a, a divine connection. And I'm hearing um, Destiny's Child. Yeah, so Destiny's Child. Some of you, you are the, the child of Destiny. <laughs> um, I'm hearing that song though. No, 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 no. Um, you be saying no, 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 no. When it's really yay. Yeah, so I, I feel like for some of you, you could be fighting the fact that you truly do want to move forward with someone or someone has been fighting the fact that it is you that they've always wanted. Um, yeah, so um, someone here has just been hiding their feelings. Because in the song, she says, you know, boy, I know you want me. I can see it in your eyes, but you keep on fronting. Won't you say what's on your mind? Yeah, every time I see you with your boys, you pretend as if you don't want me. When you get home, you call me on the phone and tell me how much you care. So, yeah, someone here has been just trapped, you know, <laughs> in ego, in the matrix, um, perhaps emotionally unavailable. Like I said, in that Peter Pan energy, not really recognizing that it's time for them to grow up and um, make this offer. But it looks like divine intervention has come in, especially with the energy that, that we're experiencing right now and it has made someone really um decide to get in alignment you know this is a full moon right now and it's in taurus and taurus energy is the hierophant so this is someone here who could have actually gotten some type of um wise counsel from someone i'm definitely hearing that conversation where someone's a um, friend or family member could have just told someone like hey man it's time for you to settle down like you need to stop being in this Peter Pan energy, acting like you never want to grow up, it's really time for you to balance yourself out 
and and grow and i feel like if this is someone that is getting this type of advice there's a particular person that they have on my in mind and that could be you um or you could be thinking this about someone else but someone is definitely considering now going into some type of spiritual path um possibly a union here yeah someone here has been researching something somebody could have went with and yeah for sure I think that someone here is looking at a situation realizing that they they just took the wrong path in life and this has caused them a lot of burden someone here is for sure making a huge u-turn they're like no I cannot whatever they're doing they know they don't want to do it again please keep in mind this can be someone from your past it doesn't have to be someone that you were in a committed relationship with this could be someone that you recently met or you met this person and, and there was never a relationship but you this person just always may have thought of you as someone that they would like to be with but they just were not ready you do not have to get in the comments and say i don't want someone from the past this could be someone from the past that you don't have much history with at all okay please keep in mind that canceling everything out without knowing the type of energy it is some people they only focus on a person okay we are spiritual beings living a human life it's the energy. A past person can come to you and be in the perfect energy for what God has called for you to be in. A past person can come back and be worse than they were the last time that they left. You have to be discerning of the energy, not just the person, because listen, <laughs> a person coming to you can carry any type of energy. You have to know what's aligned with you. What's a vibrational match for you? But I am getting two different energies for some. Like I said, it's someone that you have crossed paths with, but I don't think you and this person were ever in a relationship. And for some, this could be someone from your past and they may be presenting themselves to you saying that they've changed. Again, it will totally be up to you whether or not you want to move forward with this person or, you know, and that's based on your own assessment and evaluation of their energy. But the page of wands and the king of cups is like someone here is very optimistic about expressing love. At this point, the sun, the ten of pentacles. Yeah, the worst is over. Here's the eclipse energy here. The ten of swords with the death card. So the heartache, the pain, the deception, the betrayals, the burdens, the baggage, all of that is coming to an end here. But with death comes rebirth and transformations. And you have two tens here and a card of ending. So this is the ending, the new beginning here. If you were wondering, you know, is something being cleared away in your life? Absolutely. With the sun and the, the king of cups. The king of cups is someone who is very trustworthy, honorable. Um, I feel like this king of cups, for some of you, heavy, heavy Scorpio energy. So something should for sure be taking place here in Scorpio season. You could be connecting with a Scorpio or someone who has Scorpio highly aspected in their chart. So this person, their sun sign may not be Scorpio, but they could be like, a. Um, this has been coming out a lot lately. They could have Scorpio, perhaps like is their North Node or their rising sign, moon sign, in Venus or Mars, but it's heavily aspected somewhere in this person's chart, possibly. But someone here has received confirmation. They've received a download that you are their person. They want to offer you their cup of love. This person sees you as the person who has the fertility, the abundance, the creativity, and everything that they want. And I feel that this is someone who has been working very, very hard to manifest you back into their life to give you equal give and take. And this comes from a powerful, powerful download that this person has had. Now, for some of you, this could for sure be like a twin flame type of situation here. So for some, the feminine, because of your awakening, because you made a judgment call, maybe even to leave this person out in the cold as a result of that, it has really, really awaken this person yeah the king of swords this person could have been a little bit cold and detached but spirit has been working on this person i feel like when you kind of show this person gave them a taste of their own medicine and you were able to detach and you went through your own awakening and and ascension this person realized that you were more than than worthy and valuable of true love I think that your self-respect has made you much more attractive to a particular person. Or, like I said, for some of you, if you have not met this person just yet, this is someone who is going to fight. I feel, yeah, you having self-control and boundaries, having expectations is the reason why you're receiving this offer. It's like you really had to prove to the universe, to the divine, that you have completed a cycle of, accept, of accepting less than what you actually deserve. Accepting things that you know you don't truly desire. This right here was a karmic completion for you. You had to walk away from things that were karmic, things that were not a vibrational match for you. 
Okay, you have to walk away from the fear of being rejected or, or being out in the cold or a lack mentality, whatever the issue or obstacle is. And once you started to protect yourself and block out things that weren't alignment, it's like now you're being rewarded from the divine. This is your karmic justice. Very beautiful. Yeah, the three of wands is here. Wow, the three of wands and the star. So you, your, your wish fulfillment, your destiny, everything that you ever hoped for is coming in now. And a lot of you, you have hoped for this balance within yourself as the high priestess and the hierophant, as well as the balance, you know, being balanced enough now to call in a divine counterpart or to, you know, bring that person back so that you can move forward. But there's definitely a time where you may have been stuck, stagnant, complacent, really in your mind about things. And again, I feel like this comes from that fear, that fear, you know, mindset, just being afraid. But by going within, it's like you got the missing piece to your, your, your life puzzle. I feel like a lot of you could have taken a trip down memory lane and you recognize that there was a lot of toxicity here. The devil that has been in your mind holding you hostage for so long is something that could have come from childhood. This also is the issue that someone that is coming into your life or coming back into your life could have been dealing with as well, especially this masculine. We had a reading about a week ago where I was talking about a masculine who has had a lot of childhood issues, okay? Toxic parent, child dynamic, and other things. And this person was really struggling to grow up. This person was struggling to take action. I feel like something has happened where there's been this awakening, this awareness that this masculine is coming in and is now giving them the strength and the will and, and drive to really move forward. Someone here has definitely had a conversation, though, with someone. And I feel like this person has been given a torch. This person could have actually experienced like an, an angel, a passed on loved one, an ancestor or something where they just received this very, very powerful download. And it has allowed this person, I feel, to have this huge breakthrough or release. For some of you, you know, whether you know this person or not, just energetically, if you and this person are connected, by you having this purge and this release and choosing to be more optimistic in your life and letting go of some of the pessimism because of your disappointment or missed opportunities from the past, it's allowed this victory and success to really come in now. There was a need for healing. So for some of you, you had to separate from a person. Okay, whether it's someone that you were previously with or just someone that things never got off the ground with you and this person, when you met, you just were not ready. But now it's like after going with and healing, you and this person, you're ready. There had to be an awakening that took place first. And it does seem like for some of you, like you had to walk away from someone because someone could have made you feel like you had to compete with them or, you know, they were dealing with a lot of chaos and, and drama in their life. This could have been you as well. It could have been both of you. But I feel like by you just saying no, having boundaries and not showing weakness, not allowing something, a karmic cycle to repeat again in your life, now you get to throw your hands up, your feet up, and have wish fulfillment in a situation that's equal give and take with someone who's really going to build with you from the from the, the bottom up. Like someone that's like they will start from the bottom with you. So again, some of you, someone, they're coming in and they're, they genuinely want to work on having a new beginning with you. Whether it's someone that you have history with or, or someone brand new, whatever the case is. Someone wants to make sure though that you have the right foundation. Yeah. You have to wait for the right time to have released a lot of codependency to be self-sufficient and abundant on your own. And it's like the divine timing is here now. You had to become the type of person that you really wanted to attract. You also had to learn a lot of lessons, of course, about patience. Yeah, something here has been moving slowly because someone had to juggle. But I feel like, again, you putting your boundaries up to this person and letting them know that you were not going to wait on them, that you were not going to allow them to juggle. You were really being tested by the divine. You were being tested. And this person was, was in for a rude awakening. But look at what's here. The four of wands and the lovers, the seven of swords. This was all a part of a divine plan. And I think that now, a lot of you with this nine of swords, it's like, not a source is usually stress, fear, anxiety, and insomnia and things like that. But what I'm seeing this is, is that 
you are getting so many downloads right now because of the fact that you recognize this situation for what it is and for what it always was. And now you get to take action or this person is taking action. For some of you, there's been a lot of um, spell work and illusions. Um, being in this karmic cycle, has it could have kept you trapped in some type of um, like a lower vibrational energy here where there could have even been magic, manipulation, or illusions being cast over you to keep you kind of in this this energy here of being very indecisive, not knowing which way to go, stuck and complacent, replaying a lot of old events in your life, you know, perhaps even being in isolation. I feel like you're, you're that energy is being cleared away now and you're getting all of these downloads and you're you're seeing something for what it truly is and whoever your counterpart is, I feel like they're going through the same thing. So you and someone are both mirroring each other and you are awakening and it seems like at the same time. So there is definitely something coming in. Yeah, the chariot, king of pentacles. Someone also just could have had to um, get some things organized in their life. More structure, that's masculine energy. Getting more structure, working on their abundance. I just feel like someone may not have been ready to make you an offer. But it seems like now something has changed. The Ten of Wands is here. The Six of Pentacles. Someone has dropped a lot of burdens. I feel like this person is realizing like they really need to give this their best. The Six of Pentacles. This is equal give and take. Someone wants to share everything with you. They want to go on a journey with you. So again, I have to keep saying this. Whether well, it's someone old or someone new, you have someone coming in that's going to be very serious about you. have the person coming in that you've been manifesting. Yeah, this is new. Taking a leap of faith, okay? But the nine of pentacles, you have become the person that you want to be in a serious, committed relationship. And therefore, now there's a, there's a vibrational match here. I feel like you have to take some time off, though. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Swords, the Empress, and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you have to take some time out. And your person had to take time out. This feels like, to me, like there's two people here who had to separate. You have a masculine who had to get rid of a third-party situation. And I've been saying this for a while now. This person physically had a blockage. And I feel like Divine Feminine, you had a spiritual blockage. Like you could have been single and, and self-sufficient and, and stable and all of that, but you were still under some type of illusion. You still may have had, you know, family issues, just some type of mental or spiritual block that was keeping you from really ascending and, and growing and vibing on the frequency that you needed to be on for the wish fulfillment that you truly desire. And it seems like the masculine energy needed to actually tear down some type of foundation that was created with another person. Removing these blockages is allowing you and this person both, though, to be able to take um, steps towards each other in a very positive direction. Where the two of you, like, you can manifest a lot of prosperity and abundance together. Because you're in this empress-like energy where there's, again, there's a lot of abundance. You're able to create now. The empress is, you know, husband, wife, mother, father type of energy. But there had to be some time out with the four of swords. You could have been doing a lot of manifestation work and it wasn't. You weren't getting what you wanted because it wasn't divine timing or there was still some type of lesson that you needed to learn. So it's kind of like spirit put you in a time out to really see. Yeah. That something here was karmic. Some type of behavior was karmic. There could have been a legal situation. But I feel like, again, you standing up for yourself, really standing your ground, fighting a good fight with the seven of wands here, having boundaries protecting your energy, walking in all of this strength. A lot of you have become much more emotionally intelligent with the Queen of Cups and the Strength card being here. It just seems like you start, you, you came out of this, this illusion here. Seven of Cups, Three of Swords. You really, really mastered yourself. Like I said, there was some blockages here. Heartbreak or some type of emotional pain. 
you know, maybe you hadn't fully gotten over a past breakup or something like that. And this really had you in this indecisive energy. Some of you have been struggling trying to figure out, do you want to deal with someone from the past or someone new? You know, not understanding just yet if you want to take a leap of faith and move in a new direction. Some of you may ask yourself, do you even want to be in a relationship? Do you want to start a business? Like you've just been in this crossroads energy. And what this is what's being cleared out. There's no more illusions here. And you've decided to go within and really work on yourself. But the beautiful thing about this is just as you've done this, a person that you're connecting with has done the same thing. You and someone both have been working to prepare to come together. And this person that is, that's coming into your life is King of Wands, Knight of Swords, Temperance. This is someone who is very balanced. This person naturally has like the... Like th this person is like a natural born leader. I feel like this person is very charismatic, very independent. You know, the King of Wands is very fiery, very passionate. This person could be an entrepreneur, but the, with the King of Wands and the Knight of Swords coming out together, and here's the Temperance card, this person is actually chosen. But like I said, this person could have been working with something just like you that wasn't in alignment with their goals because I see the Three of Pentacles and the Hierophant with the hangman, somebody here had to, I, if I'm hearing you got too far away from home. So to me, there's, there's even someone possibly not being as close to God as they normally were because they started to team up with someone. There could have been some peer pressure here or something where somebody, they, they just kind of got off course for some time. But somebody here, it, there was a misalignment. Something is being aligned again. And the divine feminine here, because I do see the king of pentacles and the king of cups with the five of pentacles. Divine feminine has had to make a choice to finally leave someone behind, whether it's an old person or someone that you're dealing with right now. If there's been a choice between two people, the choice has been made. So it, it really looks like there's a divine connection here between two people and you both had to tie up something karmically. And the energy right now is you both are, if it looks and feels to me like you're both choosing each other. You're just eliminating whatever was causing a, a stalemate situation or some kind of blockage. Yeah, something here is destined. The star. Wow. Whatever or whoever this is coming into your life, this is it's very, very strong. Like it's destined to be Ace of Wands. A lot of passion here. Knight of Pentacles. But this was something that it, it took time. There was slow progress here. I feel like someone was being very practical, methodical in their approach to this, working very hard because Spirit was saying that you and someone, you had to be very balanced. For the people, because I hear somebody say, I don't want a relationship. If you don't want a relationship, whatever your whatever new beginning you're going into, you still have to balance your own feminine and masculine energy. If you want to start a business, if whatever you want to do, there was an imbalance in your energy that was prohibiting whatever you wanted to manifest from coming in. But what's coming in now after a lot of hard work and dedication and working on yourself, especially your own confidence and creativity is the nine of cups. It's wish fulfillment. You're going to be very passionate now. I feel like for some of you, you've been in this caged bird type of energy. Like you, you've had all of this energy. You know, you have the, the goals and the plans, but a lot of them, you hadn't actually taken the leap of faith to act on them just yet. Wow. And here you have it, the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is you being very passionate, adventurous. Like right now, you may feel, be feeling very like inspired to just take action. Queen of Wands, yep. The moon. Yeah, you guys are breaking out of this illusion. No more cage bird energy, especially the feminine energy. With this Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, some of you could definitely right now be working on just being more confident, being more assertive. Whatever creative projects you're working on, now is the time for you to, to strike. Um, What do people say? Strike while the... The iron's hot or something like that. Like now, yeah, with the moon card here, you're coming out of something, something in your subconscious mind that was blocking you. 
releasing fear. Some of you, you've always thought, well, you need to play it safe. You're no longer going to play it safe because divine timing for you to do something is here now. The Wheel of Fortune with the, wow, with the tower. Yeah, you have to do something now. Um, you just, just have to just do it. Two of Cups. And here's the, wow. <laughs> the Two of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. So when it comes to in the Page of Cups, this is a romantic offer. It's a proposal. Um, it's like all the cards are on the table with the High Priestess here. Um, there's a relationship or a partnership here. Whether it's romantic, platonic, business, that somebody just knows is going to be extremely fruitful and abundant. There's something coming into your life and it's going to be in your life for the rest of your life. Like I said, this could be a business. This could be a romantic relationship. It could possibly be both. Some of you are definitely going to start a business with someone. The High Priestess and the Ten of Pentacles with the Two of Cups here. For some of you, it's you and another person. Both of you are chosen. You could have like a, a healing business. And it doesn't have to be in spirituality. I mean, it could be two, two nurses who come together. What, whatever the two of you do, you're, you're connected on a soul level, spiritually, energetically. There is something that the two of you can do. And it's going to bring in, with the Ten of Pentacles, it's going to bring in a lot of just growth and abundance. This is some type of empire that you're creating with someone that is your your homie, your lover, your friend. It's union. If it's nothing about a relationship, again, you're just in a place and position now to have exactly what you want. The five of wands is here. Five of wands speaks of whatever this is, there is no competition. Because you have that, wow, the emperor, the four of wands, the king of swords, the six of cups. This is a past life connection here. Someone knows exactly who you are. There is no competition. Whoever, whoever you are or whoever this is entering your life here, this king of swords, they're very serious about this connection. Very serious. With the four of wands here, this person feels like the only person that they will share their energy, their wealth, their abundance and ideas and whatever with is a particular person. Someone here knows that someone was created just for them. And this relationship is one that seems to be very much rooted in friendship. And there's for sure like a past life energy here. This is a masculine though, who I feel had to grow and develop to become like this. This person went from being like, kind of like in a in a page energy. Like I said earlier, Peter Pan, over time, this person now is very intentional. This person has become a king of swords and an emperor, and they want real, like, real stability. This person has gotten into their masculine energy, for sure. And it's no longer distorted. This person is taking charge. They want to be practical. They want a solid foundation. Again, a lot of self-mastery. The devil. Somebody here has to get over the devil. There was a toxic cycle here. And I'm, I'm assuming that someone here missed an opportunity or felt like they missed an opportunity with you. Okay? Because someone could have had a choice between more than one person. Yeah, the three of wands. Because you have the queen of pentacles here and the queen of swords. So someone here could have been dealing with the queen of pentacles or a queen of swords, but I'm getting queen of pentacles. Someone that, you know, was generous. They they were able to build something with this person. And I feel like when this person brought this type of toxicity with you and you looked at the bigger picture, knowing that you did not want to be in a third party situation, knowing that you truly wanted to be in a four of wands situation with someone who was very serious about you, you put your sword up with this person, the queen of swords. You were very logical you made a head over heart decision this time because you were looking at the bigger picture you knew that in order to have wish fulfillment in order to be with an emperor you have to conduct yourself as a true empress in order to have the ten of pentacles you have to have an, an emperor 
So for some of you, this emperor and this king of swords is two different people. For some of you, you're leaving someone behind because you're looking at the bigger picture and you're realizing that you could have like a king of swords person here who is very stern. They're very logical. I'm getting someone here who feels like, you know, they should be with a certain person because of what it looks like, because of finances, the community or whatever. And this person, they made a head over hard decision about you. And I feel like you dealt with this type of person in the past. This, this same person could be coming back now as the actual emperor. Or for some of you, you have a new person that's coming in. But that past person, they taught you that you need to look at the bigger picture. And maybe instead of you always using your heart, you needed to make a head over heart decision and see that you're not willing to be in a situation with someone who does not value you. And now you're you're a match for a true emperor. Whether this is that person coming back in this emperor energy or someone brand new. Yeah, someone here saw the bigger picture and realized that you cannot build an empire or a solid foundation with someone that wants to be toxic in this low vibrational devilish energy or someone that wants third party situations or, or whatever the case may have been. Yeah. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups is here. Page of Pentacles. This is good news coming in about wish fulfillment, the Ace of Cups. New love, a new beginning, lots of abundance here. Five of Swords, after a lot of conflict, you go towards victory and success in the Ten of Cups. So you've been on some type of soulmate twin flame journey. And you're moving forward. <laughs> Look, you have here the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So like I said, there's a feminine here who is for sure um, choosing now to go towards the person that's going to provide them with the security and the stability that they need in order to have the Ten of Pentacles. And you'll have to, you know, in your situation, figure out and determine who that may be for you. Six of Swords. Go in the direction where you know you're going to be appreciated and there's going to be peace. Because someone here has been stuck at a crossroads for a long time, unable to make a decision. Like I said, feeling very trapped, this caged bird-like energy, tra feeling, you know, restricted or someone here has, has convinced you that you should keep replaying these old, outdated, negative thoughts over and over again. For some of you, again, this is, I'm definitely getting spell work. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, someone here worked very hard to cause some type of ending for you, but it actually just pushed you into a transformation because I feel like a lot of people get just got tired of being tired. Page of Cups. So there's a, a surprise offer, a new beginning coming in for you. This is really good. Really good. So yeah. Some of you, you're realizing that there's a person from your past that really taught you everything that you needed to know about being more stern, you know, making head over hard decisions, being more in your masculine energy. And it's now allowing you to attract a, um, a, a healthy and healed masculine or because you're healing the masculine energy within yourself. For some of you, this person, because you... <laughs> met them with the same energy that they gave you, which was you learning to be more practical and emotionally intelligent, just like them. This person is now coming in, wanting to show you that, you know, they've gone through some type of rebirth or transformation as well. So just take it however it resonates. Unexpected income and main female with high honor here. You guys are about to really experience, um, Oh, wow. High honor. The marriage card, the child card, and the lovers. Wow. This is, and this is going to have somebody sick. Yeah. A main female here. You're about to receive unexpected income. And it fell right on top of the page of cups. So this is the unexpected um, message or proposal or some type of opportunity coming in from someone who has been admiring you from afar. Someone wants you to be their main person, not or they want you to go from being their main person to the person that they actually marry. 
When I see high honor and marriage together, to me, this is speaking of spiritual union. The child, you and this person could have a child, a business, just a brand new opportunity, um, a new beginning together. It's something that is, you know, children are pure. This is something starting this is fresh, it's new. No stress. Yeah, a gift. Someone here has been working on bringing you a gift. Someone may have had a, a, a conversation, like I said, with an elder. Could have been a mature man, a mature woman. And it gave them some perspective about having just more security and stability in their life and preparing for, for marriage, a family, a commitment. Change, see? Someone here had a conversation, I feel, with someone about a change. And I feel like whatever nugget because income to me is i don't see it as just like something monetary someone here has gotten some type of gem of advice and it has allowed this person to have sudden wealth this could have also been just something spiritual someone here got a spiritual download and they became spiritually wealthy very quickly and they know that they want to share that with a particular person this could have come after someone received some message of concern about a false person that they were working with could have been a false person in their family or that they had a family with who simply just wanted to be a privileged person. I feel like someone here definitely has taken some type of hit from surrounding themselves with a particular person that wanted them for all the wrong reasons. Someone here has had a betrayal and it has pushed them into this awakening where now they want things to just be, you know, real and true. They want everything of high honor now. This person is becoming a person of high honor. They're becoming official. Wow. 1122 could be significant. Today is actually November 9th. Okay. Something could happen sometime between 11, 17, November 17th and November 22nd. We have November 17th, November 18th out here. Something could happen on the 22nd, the 25th. Someone could be 35 or close to 35, having a real like epiphany here about life and what they want. Someone could be 27 or about to be 27. 27 and 35, 27, someone could be, you know, of course, getting close to 30. And they're realizing that they want something serious. Someone is realizing that they... They've been bound in a situation for too long that doesn't serve them. And someone, you know, around 35 or getting close to 35 or between 35 and 40, someone is just taking their life more seriously now. Wealthy man. <laughs> Wealthy man. I told you, distant horizons with the death card. Huge transformation coming. There's somebody here who has been working with a mature woman. This has someone in despair. And I'm getting here for whoever has been working possibly with um, like some type of spiritual practitioner or something like that. There's an ending that's coming to this situation. Or this situation has already ended and someone is in despair because the work that this person was doing on someone's stability, this person has been given their walking papers. It's not going to work. Someone here has definitely teamed up with someone to try and cast some type of magic or illusions either on you and your person. If this is someone on the outside looking in on a connection that you have coming in, someone here has been doing work on your love life and your finances. And they've been working with a mature man or woman to do this. It's coming to an end. Yeah, that's over. That's the reason why something really, really great is coming in for you. Yeah, main male with toil and labor. I feel like a lot of you, you manifested this main male because the main female is out. So once again, there's a couple I feel like a main male and main female, they were manifesting each other. So for some of you, you you have an ex who has been working against you and a, a new connection that's coming in for you. 
That's what I'm getting. It, it's it's like a a battle. <laughs> um. Yeah. This is strange. There's a false person here, though. This mature woman could be a false person. Someone could have a false person in their family or someone that they consider family. This person wants to be privileged. The thing about it, though, is that whoever the divine feminine is here, there's a divine feminine here who is destined to be privileged. You're going to receive sudden wealth because you're going into a spiritual union and marriage with someone. And I feel like whoever these people are, these false people, they're going to receive a message of concern. And the message of concern is going to be that you're going to have great fortune and they're going to have bad health. See, all of this magic is backfiring. These people here who have been constantly plotting against you. They're going to lose everything that they wanted you to lose. This was a group of people, a community. This was a group of people who were on a journey. Like these people literally went on a journey just to destroy someone, just to steal something. Yeah. Thief. Just, <laughs> I cannot make this up. Thief, courtship, and imprisonment. Someone wanted you isolated, stuck, feeling in prison, or they wanted your person to feel this way. So someone here has been trying to block your, your finances, your stability, your security, as well as your spiritual gifts so that you and someone would not connect. This could be someone that you've already been with or someone brand new. Yeah. 